I mean, they're, uh, I can't feel that at all. Hey everybody, welcome to the video today. My name is Mike and uh, for a living, I install flooring. So I spend a lot of time crawling around on my hands and knees and the biggest challenge, the biggest struggle with having a job which requires you to crawl around and be on your knees so much is finding the right pair of knee pads. And by that I mean finding a pair that legitimately keeps you safe and is also comfortable to wear. Guys, I've been through so many different sets of knee pads, it's not even funny. And I got a brand new set right now. It's the whole purpose of this video I'm making today. We're gonna talk about those in a second. If anybody out there is just getting into this type of work though, and you don't quite understand this struggle that we all go through yet, you will. You're gonna notice that when you don't get high quality knee pads, they will not stay in the right spot or the straps are on the backs of your knees and the straps rub your, you know, the backs of your knees raw, just pretty much ripping your skin right off. You'll find some of them aren't as supportive as you thought they would be and it still feels like you're kneeling down on concrete. There's a lot of things that factor into getting just a really decent set of knee pads and trust me, you have got to invest in a good set of knee pads if you are going to be doing this type of work regularly. It's going to determine your future health and whether or not you can even walk right. Because your knees are at risk, your feet are at risk, your shins, your, your lower back, everything down in that area, every muscle that you use, every bone that's being used, they're all at risk. And you can find, at least what I'm hoping you can find, is a really good set of knee pads for 50, 60 bucks. And the ones that I bought are fresh out of the package. I've not even tried them on yet. These are from a company known as Tough Built. Uh, it says Tough Built right here in the corner. They're kind of a new kid on the block in terms of uh, tools. They're kind of up and coming. They uh, they just IPO'd and went to an actual public company uh, just within the last couple years. They're starting with contracts with Lowe's, with hand tools and knee pads and everything. So they're really just starting to expand. The bulk of their business, I would say, is on Amazon. But the reviews on Amazon are really good. And uh, when I show you how these knee pads are gonna work, uh, they definitely look like they have something to offer that most other traditional knee pads don't. And you're gonna to wanna to see what they can do. Okay, so I just stepped off camera for a second to uh, really set these knee pads free. So now you can see a little bit better exactly how, these, uh, how the motion works with these. So what this is right here is this is thigh support. This is something that's going to go around my thigh. I'll put them on here in a second and demonstrate how these are gonna work. But that'll be something that if you're not uh, used to it, you'll have to get used to is uh, having that little additional support on your thighs. So this strap down here is gonna be on the back side of your shin, and this strap right here is gonna be around your thigh. Essentially keeping the straps away from the dead back of your knee, which is where your knee tends to get rubbed raw because that's where your crease is when you're bent over. <laughs> I'm seeing a three strap system here, but anyway, uh, there's a real easy way to disconnect them completely, is that you have this right here and that whole thing will come apart for you. So that's pretty cool. That uh, once you get them on your leg, that'll pull tight, strap will stay on. So I tell you what, let's drop the camera down a little bit lower and uh, I'll put them on, see how it works. Okay, so the ones that I bought here are uh, Gel Fit Large. I don't know if there was any other option to buy them. Of course, well, there's other, there's gel or there's foam. I didn't see a medium option or an extra large option. All right, so I'm just popping these straps loose. I'm just going to put them on the way they are for now. See how that opens up right there? Let's go ahead and put one on. And again, like I said, you just get that strap put right in there. And that, that right there will hold it all in. Same with this one down here. You see this right here is going to plug right into this hole. And that's what's going to clip that knee pad on and hopefully hold it in place. So back here you can see this strap's up. This strap is down. The um, crease in my knee is clear. And there's definitely enough support in this knee pad to where it can't, it literally cannot uh, shift from left to right and uh, come off. Even if I'm down and I get it caught on something, it, the way it's built and the way it's L-shaped right here, it's pretty much impossible for this to shift off of my knee. Actually a pretty cool looking knee pad. I mean, they're definitely staying, definitely staying put, not wanting to slide around on me. There's one thing 
Um, I'm sure they're built into this intentionally that I'm not quite figuring out just yet, but they are very rounded. So it does allow for freedom of movement, but that also, if you're not used to being down on your hands and knees and in this position, see what you can do there? Kind of fall over, knock yourself over a little bit. So that's a little concerning. These are almost uh, something that somebody who's used to wearing knee pads should uh, be wearing. Yeah, so you can see right here how that's kind of cocking my knee over to here. So I could easily make a misstep, accidentally screw up somehow. So that actually might be because of the adjustment of the straps. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that it's uh, just a flaw in the, um, a flaw in the design, which I mean, no design is perfect. But yeah, that right there is a little concerning. But aside from that, I mean, they're, uh, I can't feel that at all. You know, those are, uh, wow. Yeah, I can't feel that at all on my knees. That gel that's inside these are giving a ton of support. And my camera's falling. That was a, that was a very scary moment there. So yeah, I can't wait to give these little bad boys a try, see how everything works out when I'm actually in the field using them while I'm working. But uh, so far, they feel very comfortable, very solid. Definitely gonna stay in place, definitely gonna offer support. Like I said that one thing I don't necessarily care for is that little bit of shift feel that it has. It's not coming off of my knee, it's kind of forcing my whole hip to kind of rotate inward. So I don't know how I feel about that, but the only way I can really determine what that is or if I'm just gonna get used to it is by taking them out there and working with them. So I'll give regular updates on these knee pads. Um, I'm glad you guys popped in this video to check them out. Uh, hopefully they're gonna be helpful to me. If they are, I'll tell my story. Hopefully they'll be helpful to you. We can stop coming home with bad backs and hurt knees, just feel a little bit better and not so worn out. All right, thank you very much for tuning in for this video and I'll see you in the next one.